Today on Superstructures, we are embarking on a fascinating journey into the world of ships. Get ready to be amazed because we have jaw-dropping revelations lined up for you and you probably didn't know this about ships. Did you know that big ships are faster than small ones? But that's not all. There's a surprising fact about a specific color that can protect entire ships. And even though not every ship has it, the bulbous bill plays a crucial role. It's located at the front of the hull and might look strange, but it serves a very practical purpose. The bulbous bow was developed in the 1930s, and now it's a standard feature on most large ships, including cargo ships, tankers, and cruise ships. It's highly effective in improving a ship's performance and reducing its fuel consumption, which helps to protect the environment. This bulb-like structure protrudes from the front of the ship's hull, just below the waterline. So, how does it work? When a ship moves through the water, it creates waves at the bow and stern. These waves create resistance, which slows the ship down and requires more energy to keep moving. The bulbous bow comes to the rescue by creating a wave that interferes with the bow wave, reducing resistance, and making it easier for the ship to glide through the water. Not only does the bulbous bow help the environment, but it also brings economic advantages. By reducing fuel consumption, ships can save on operating costs, leading to cost savings for customers. It's a win-win situation for both the shipping industry and our planet. If you've ever observed ships, you might have noticed that many of them are painted red below the waterline. Well, there's a good reason behind it. The red color serves a purpose beyond just appearances. It protects the ship's hull from marine organisms like barnacles, algae, and other sea creatures. These organisms tend to attach themselves to the ship's surface, and once they do, they can cause serious damage. This leads to increased drag, reduced speed, higher fuel consumption, and greater operating costs for the ship. To prevent this, ships use anti-fouling paint that contains a copper-based biocide. The copper in the paint acts as a deterrent to marine organisms, keeping them from attaching to the hull and causing harm. As a result, the paint appears red. And this color choice has some practical benefits. It makes it easier for divers and inspectors to spot any damage or potential issues with the hull. The contrast between the red paint and the surrounding water makes any damage more visible. So, red paint not only adds to the ship's aesthetics, but it also serves as a shield, protecting the hull from harmful organisms in the water that could otherwise damage it. When ships cruise around the world, they inevitably produce a significant amount of trash. Large cruisers carrying thousands of passengers and a substantial crew generate heaps of waste throughout the journey. Unfortunately, a considerable portion of this waste ends up in the oceans. To address this issue, the International Maritime Organization has set regulations for handling waste on ships. These guidelines specify how waste should be stored, treated, and disposed of. Despite the regulations, a substantial amount of waste still finds its way into the ocean. However, ships must follow specific procedures for eliminating trash. The solid waste generated on board is divided into different categories, including recyclable, non-recyclable, hazardous, and food waste. Crew members sort the waste into designated areas until it can be appropriately treated or disposed of at the next port of call. It's crucial to note that, according to the IMO, no waste should be thrown into the ocean. To further protect the marine environment, sewage and wastewater generated on board are also regulated by the IMO. They must undergo treatment before being discharged into the sea. If you've ever seen a large cargo ship or cruise ship gracefully gliding through the water, you might wonder why it appears to move much faster than smaller vessels nearby. In reality, the largest ship is generally much faster than the smaller ones. And this is due to a combination of factors. One of the most crucial factors is that large ships have significantly more powerful engines and propulsion systems, allowing them to generate more thrust and move more efficiently through the water. As a result, these large ships can achieve higher speeds with less effort, while smaller vessels struggle to reach the same high speeds. Another factor is the size of the ship itself. Consider this, the bigger the ship, the longer its waterline length. The waterline length is the part of the hull that's in contact with the water and plays a role in determining a ship's maximum speed. 
A longer waterline length enables the ship to take advantage of its greater length and achieve higher speeds. Additionally, large ships often have a more streamlined hull design, which helps reduce drag and improve their speed. The shape of the hull influences how the ship moves through the water, and a streamlined design can reduce resistance, making the ship faster than smaller vessels. However, it's essential to note that there are exceptions to this general rule. In some cases, smaller vessels can still be faster than bigger ones, depending on various factors such as the specific design and purpose of the ships. Ships worldwide are generally built following similar principles, but their specific features can vary depending on their intended purpose. One essential feature found in all modern-day ships is the ship stabilizers. These stabilizers play a crucial role in reducing the amount of rolling and pitching experienced by ships at sea. Ship stabilizers serve several important purposes. Firstly, they greatly enhance passenger comfort and safety during the journey. By minimizing the rolling and pitching motions, they help passengers feel more at ease on board, especially during rough seas. Moreover, these stabilizers help reduce crew fatigue. When a ship rolls and pitches excessively, crew members can become tired and less efficient in performing their duties. Stabilizers ensure a steadier ride, allowing the crew to focus on their tasks with greater ease. Additionally, stabilizers are essential for safeguarding cargo. By countering the natural movements of the ship, they prevent cargo from shifting or being damaged due to excessive rolling or pitching. This is particularly crucial for transporting delicate or valuable goods. Stabilizers function through a combination of fins, gyroscopes, and other mechanisms. The fins, located on the port and starboard sides of the ship, can be extended or retracted as needed to adjust the stabilizers and counteract any rolling or pitching that occurs. Ultimately, ship stabilizers are indispensable for enhancing overall ship safety. They significantly reduce the risk of accidents, such as capsizing, making voyages much safer for both passengers and crew. For any ship, especially those responsible for carrying many passengers or a substantial amount of cargo, having effective stabilizers is vital. You may have seen ships that sail on water, but what if we told you that there are some vessels that can operate on both water and land? These extraordinary vehicles are known as hovercrafts, and they are incredibly versatile and useful for various applications. Hovercrafts work on a fascinating principle. They utilize a cushion of air to lift themselves above the surface, which reduces friction and allows them to glide effortlessly over water or land. This is made possible by a flexible skirt surrounding the bottom of the vessel, which traps the air cushion beneath the hovercraft, lifting it above the surface. To move forward, the hovercraft is propelled by an engine or propeller system, which propels it through the water or land. The versatility of hovercrafts makes them ideal for several operations. They are often used as search and rescue vehicles because they can swiftly move across water and land to reach people in need. Additionally, hovercrafts find applications in military and law enforcement operations, as well as in the tourism and recreational industries. These unique vessels have earned both admiration and curiosity. While some consider them to be a type of ship, Others see them as resembling airplanes due to their ability to hover above a cushion of air. Nevertheless, given their use mainly in the open sea and their capability to operate on land as well, one can certainly see hovercrafts as ships that easily switch between being vessels and vehicles. Imagine a colossal cruise ship gracefully sailing across the vast ocean. Can you fathom the sheer size of these ships? Now, think about how much fuel they must consume for their journeys. Regardless of their size, every ship requires immense amounts of fuel to power its engines and propulsion systems, enabling them to traverse long distances across the world's oceans. These ships predominantly utilize heavy fuel oil, which is derived from crude oil refining processes. Upon reaching the ship, the fuel is stored in large onboard tanks, ready to fuel the engines and generators. The process of obtaining fuel for a ship involves multiple stages. Firstly, crude oil must be extracted from the ground and transported to a refinery. Once the oil is processed, it is transported to a port and then loaded onto the ship. The fueling process itself is intricate and time-consuming. A substantial amount of fuel needs to be carefully loaded onto the ship using specialized equipment. And this process can take several hours to complete. 
In recent years, there has been a significant surge in interest in alternative fuel sources for ships. Shipbuilders have been exploring environmentally friendly and sustainable fuel options to reduce the shipping industry's environmental impact. Embracing greener fuels can lead to more sustainable ships and help mitigate their ecological footprint in the future. From their ancient origins to their modern-day innovations, the stories of these vessels are as diverse as the oceans they conquer. We hope you've enjoyed this voyage of discovery and that it has left you in awe of the remarkable world of ships. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you'd like to explore more captivating stories with us on Superstructures. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring!